channel if you're new and welcome back if you have been here before. Today I filmed a super simple just red. I only used one eyeshadow so it's super simple. This is like my favorite like kind of looks like go-to looks and I used a few new products in this video as well. If you like to see how I did this makeup then keep watching. So first I'm gonna start out by priming my skin with Benefit's Professional Primer. Applying this to my T-zone and then gently pushing it into my skin. For foundation, this is new to me. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And my first impressions on this is that I actually really like it. I find that it applies better with a brush more so than a sponge and the color is such a good match for my skin as well and I'm in the lot of shade. Sorry if my voice sounds like really bad. I woke up this morning very sick and I can barely do anything without coughing. For concealer today, of course I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and apply a very generous amount all over my face. Pretty much everywhere and then I'm just going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. I think you guys should leave me requests down below of what kind of videos that you would like to see other than makeup tutorials. Because I would like to get into making videos other than makeup tutorials but I honestly have no idea what to do so you guys should just let me know in the comments below. Setting that concealer with my Airspun Loose Translucent Powder. I'm mainly just setting this only where I apply the concealer not really where I apply the foundation. Now for eyeshadow I'm gonna take Melt Cosmetics Love Sick. And this is the only eyeshadow that I'm going to use for this whole entire look. So it's going to be super simple. And I'm pretty much just slapping that eyeshadow on everywhere. In the crease, on the lid, underneath the eye, literally everywhere. Just making sure that it's really blended out and there are no harsh lines. You can use a transition shade. That might help you with blending if you're not too confident in your blending skills. You can always use a transition shade, but you know, I'm lazy, so I didn't. I'm just deepening that color by applying layer after layer. Here I'm packing on the eyeshadow on the lid with a synthetic flat brush, and that'll really pack on the color. Doing the same thing on my lower lash line. And then going back in and blending it out so there are no harsh lines. Now I'm taking this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Whiskey. And I'm just applying that to my top lash line just to hide the lashes a little bit. Also applying that in my waterline and using that flat brush to just smudge it out a little bit. For lashes, I'm taking these Dodo Lashes D115 and I'm just applying those with the Duo Latex Free glue, the glue that's in like the green packaging, that one. And then I'm tight lining my upper waterline with the NYX Black Eyeliner. And then with this NYX Lip Pencil, I'm just going to line my lips and make it a little bit thicker and I'm gonna also smudge it out with my fingers so it's kind of like an ombre effect. I'm taking this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick in the shade Nudie Patootie. 
that name is just the cutest thing ever and these lipsticks are so good guys this was my first time trying them and I fell in love I love them so much now I'm just taking my finger and I'm gonna smudge that to mix it in with the lip liner a little bit more because the shade is really nude then taking my Profusion Studio Contour Palette the lot of shade right there and I'm using that to contour my cheekbones my jawline and my nose I always make sure to go over that with my sponge that I use to apply my foundation just to make sure there are no harsh lines and that everything is seamless and perfectly blended. For nose contour, I always start out by lightly making two parallel lines on either side of my nose, making them in a little bit more, not actually following my nose shape because I'm doing this to try to make my nose appear a little bit slimmer. And then I apply some under the tip of my nose to shorten it a little bit and then a little bit to the top of my nose to kind of make it more rounded. You can see exactly what I'm doing here. And then I use a clean brush to blend it out and then also blend it out with my sponge. I forgot to show the product but here I'm just taking my NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finish Setting Spray and spraying that all over my face and before it gets a chance to entirely dry I'm going to go back into that Profusion Studio Contour Palette and I'm, and I'm going to take the highlight shade from that palette and just use that to highlight my cheekbones, my nose, and a little bit on my chin. So this is the finished look kind of just winged this didn't really know what I was doing but I really like how it turned out anyway if you liked this tutorial and would like to see more make sure you thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video